Hey, what's up, guys? I, uh... So, I, I made this video together with Louisa about the, uh, recent coronavirus that's been going on. And I've been working on it over the weekend. But, um, just a few days ago, my chicken got sick. So, earlier this month, right at the beginning of the month, uh, I woke up and I had, uh, just, I just woke up with a, a sore throat and a cough and like a lot of mucus in in my throat. It, it, it definitely seemed like some kind of um, respiratory infection, but I didn't feel sick. I didn't even feel like I, I had a cold or anything. I, I, I felt fine. I still went to work. Um, maybe a couple of times during the day. I would, uh, I would feel like my I was getting fluid in my lungs, and I would have to cough it out. It might take a while. I could just sometimes it feels like it just keep building up, but mostly it was affecting me in the morning, early morning while I slept. I would wake up and I just kept coughing and coughing a lot until like my my chest would hurt. Um, but it's been slowly just going down, getting less and less. But it's just taking a long time. And I, uh, I know I coughed when I held Betty, my chicken, and she ended up getting sick a few days ago. Yesterday she took a turn for the worst, and she she didn't get down from her perch all day. She she didn't eat anything. She would drink, but no food. And so me and my brother decided that on Monday we were going to take her to the vet. And I checked on her twice in the night, but the second time, about 5 a.m., I checked on her and she was cold. She didn't make it to the morning. So I don't know. If I did get the coronavirus, I never went to the hospital. And I still, now I, I don't even have a sore throat anymore. I just, I just have a very light cough that comes every once in a while. Anyways, I, I hope this is some valuable information that Louisa has been able to dig up. I, I know I've already seen a couple of other videos out there with a lot of this information on it in the last couple of days, so. Uh, well, that's all.
Okay, do that. Just, I just want to say, say that really quick. Tell me. Oh, no, I'll say it to you while I'm doing my work. It's okay. just because the camera. Go for it. Me. All right. Okay, so my brother works here at this grocery store. And here's where the toilet paper once stood. And I got, I know an employee and he just told me something very interesting. He said, the warehouse has no more toilet paper or um, paper towels. So that means this store isn't even gonna be getting any more shipments in now that it's all gone. This is very, very interesting. But here's the craziest part. So my brother, who works here, he's telling me that he overheard some a customer in the line who was buying stacks and stacks of toilet paper and paper towels saying how, uh, not saying directly to him, but I guess overheard him talking on a phone saying that he was going to bring back all the toilet paper that he's buying when all this pandemic, pandemic blows over. So uh, that's that's very important, and I wonder just how many people are doing that. I don't know how high the prices are, but I think the prices must be high because the demand is really high. And um, well, we got other alternatives if you know where to look, how to wipe your ass. <laughs> Some of the. Some of the shelves do seem kind of bare. Now, the funny, the funny part here is that all these people that are buying all this stuff, it's, it's busier than usual. Uh, I've only seen like maybe two people wearing masks. So I don't know how many people are actually quarantining themselves and locking themselves in their house if they're out here shopping. Because there's definitely every day you go out and you just see the lines are crazy. People uh, lining up to buy mostly hygiene stuff and then food too. Oh, look at that. Where the heck? I got something on the shelf. <laughs> What's on the shelf? <laughs> what, what did you say in the car earlier? Something about? Oh, the vitamins? They're starting to pick oh, up yeah. vitamins. Vitamins. That was a very important thing we found out. So all this, hy all this hygiene stuff, you know, mostly sold out. Vitamin aisle, just picking up. Nobody's really buying the things that you need to boost your immune system, which is ironic um, but anyways you know the food doesn't seem to be doing too bad some of it running out but I have a lot of information here from Louisa the Hong Kong cutie she's done a lot of research on uh, the coronavirus recently and she's got a big earful for you guys uh, I wasn't able to do an introduction because she just kind of started talking and I said, you know what, let's just throw ourselves into it like this. And she gave a lot of information. I thought it'd be really, really, really funny, side note, to just come in here and stack up, stock up on something that is a very, very odd, odd item. Something that just, well, personally, I don't even know what the connection is between the virus and toilet paper. That just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Unless there's like gonna be some sort of like martial law or something where they don't allow you to leave your house. I just don't get the toilet paper. What, how is the toilet paper gonna protect you? But would be really, really funny would be if you come in here and you just stack up on something, some miscellaneous item, maybe something that you only need one of in your house, like grab all these fly sweaters or something. Wouldn't that be funny? And, or just go outside and gather up all the firewood. Just, just something that you just, you really throw off the other people in line. Just to be like, oh uh, yeah. Uh, I know something that you don't. <laughs> light bulbs. This is something ridiculous. So I'll take another look around really quick here. See if there's anything else missing. So, so other than lately being a hell of a lot busier than usual, the food seems to be doing fine. This is unusual. This is something I haven't seen before. Last time I was here, this thing was stocked with tortillas. Tortillas. What are people gonna do with tortillas? <laughs> now this I was also here the other day eggs my question is if, if all this stuff is selling like this so fast and so crazy how is the economy going down with people spending money like this it's unbelievable what's wrong what's wrong with buying coffee coffee's good 
They said that they were almost out of milk, but I don't know. Milk looks fine. Looks like they're out of whatever the hell this stuff is. But the dairy aisle also looks to be doing not too bad. Is there milk? Yes, there's milk. Plenty of milk. Okay. Well, that's my local grocery store. Um, some unusual things, some not. But anyways, let's get back over to my house and we're gonna listen to what Louisa, the Hong Kong cutie, has to say about this virus pandemic. I have a feeling she has something to tell us that is relieving. So, let's get to it. Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna talk about the key player, okay? I'm talking about the key terms, like what is globalism. Okay. Go very high level, and then like Ch Chinese Communist Party, some of the history, because that will fill up. People don't believe that. You know, the thing is, they don't believe you. Like, Ch they're just gonna kill people like that? No way. This is the problem of people. So, I wanted to show back to two examples. Okay, uh, that's why I wanna bring the history of humans are very capable of doing unbelievable things it happens so so that's why i do wanted to talk a little bit about you know the history of the of the nazi gas chamber mm -hmm. from people young even young people probably might remember some of these is the uh, the tinnaman square you probably heard of you were too young then mm -hmm. i remember Squ seeing the video it was it was news even as i was growing up it's like 31 years ago. I'm 31 years old. Yeah, because it. People were still talking 10 years, about it. Every every 10 years, absolutely. Yeah. So this is huge. This is modern day. This is a lot of, even a lot of millen millennial knows about this. So that that was the Tiananmen Square, but China started censoring the Fulong Gong. Mm -hmm. You never heard of that. That kills more. <clears throat> That's the beginning of organ harvesting. So I wanted to talk about that, the Fulong Gong part, just so they understand, uh, like, it's like they, they don't think about it, but they have all heard of organ, because this, well, this is not, this one, they're not harvesting, they're just burning, but the organ harvesting, we want people to know that the government, the party is very capable. If we think our democratic are evil, this, 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 it's, they, they, they are basically sane compared to them. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I wanted to, because people don't know. They all, Russian, Russian. They, they love Chinese products. Most people have no hatred to a Chinese people. Oh, they are, you know, the wealthy, the well-educated, you know. They own this, they own that. And a lot of them are very polite. They don't see China as evil. That's why I wanted to talk about the evil party, not the Chinese people. So I want them, I want them to prepare for a very evil party when they're in control behind the scenes. See, there's the front and the back. The in the back, the communist. It's not recording now, right? Yeah, it is. Really? <laughs> Okay, but, you know. maybe from here, I think this is better, okay. This past few weeks, I've been going through learning a lot, a lot about what's really going on in China and uh, the cold cor coronavirus. And a few weeks ago, I was actually very scared because I saw so many things that the Chinese government were doing. Okay, so I did a lot. I did like a gazillion hours of research on it, okay. So I wanted to share with all of you, okay. So, but I think before I go further, I wanted to discuss how the Chinese communists can actually capable of doing, okay. And I will talk about, these are the key players, the Chinese Communist Party. And also within China is the army, which is the People's Liberation Army. They are actually the one in control of all the weapons and all the, um, the military, okay. And so, and then, of course, there's the term globalist, okay? Globalist is on top of everybody. Who are the globalists? The bankers and some of the Illuminati's, you know. I don't know exactly who they are, 
okay? But anyway, it's, it's a group of bloodline. They think they are superior than all of us, okay? So we're talking about that evil, globalist, Illuminati, cabal, deep state, whatever people think, you know, it's that, that really high above there who control the whole world, control all the money, whatever we're using, it's just nothing. So they are... Of course, they are the key player. They are the one control. They control U.S. up until Trump came along. Okay, so our very lucky our president's in control of a lot of it, and he's been announced to the world. The globalist is no longer in control. Okay, so but the globalist is still through all these centuries. Basically, the globalist agenda started more than 150 years ago. Okay, they have a manifesto. Okay. So, with all these decades and decades of continual agendas, okay, you know, Obama is just carrying the agendas of the globalists, and up until Trump came along, okay, so they also, part of the agendas for China, okay, is to become the globalist manufacturers. That's why all the rest of the, the countries, they all shift their manufacturing to China. Okay, so this is another uh, way of Chinese running. You, the, the globalists will not let China take over. The globalists is shifting power, okay? And they, they wanted to destroy U.S. and then shift the power to China, okay? And then create a war between Russia and, and China and U.S., these three. And that's when... When, when all the war, all the country breakdowns, and then they, all the UN, all the, the, the global organizations, you know, they will come in and control as the one world order. Okay, so that is their plan. So through this past few decades, China's been basically making everything for everyone from from shoes, clothes, you know, food, okay, to Probably cups, cups, things we use, furnitures, everything's to Everything. to drugs. Right now, right now, we're not <clears throat> fentanyl. talking fentanyl, legal drugs, prescription drugs, you know, cars, everything. Okay, so so this is a so Trump's point of the trade war is more than just trade war. China also steal technology. China steal informations. Um, it's uh, internet, uh, um, internet protocol. Inter uh, no, actually, um, intellectual property. Okay, intellectual property. Okay, so <laughs> internet protocol is the uh, IP address. <laughs> 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 okay, intellectual property. Okay, and through this trade war is also. The trade war and the border, all of these is control of how information gets stolen. And I will talk a little bit later uh, how actually China got caught stealing technology. Okay, And it's very, very related to the current event of this COVID-19. Okay, And so back to, back to these key players, okay? Okay, so China, China used to be run by just emperor and emperor, okay? And then the, the Marxism sold the communists, okay, to China. So we, right now, we have to watch out. The young people are all looking at socialisms, okay? They got brainwashed and they they just listen to, to the beautiful words. They say all the promises, you know, but socialism is a precursor, precursor of communism okay and in order for globalists to work communism has to work and that's how they control Commun communism is give up reading and have a central control of everything and that is basically the same as globalism and none of us will have any control over anything in the future that is what they want i did hear that there was a there was a like a a second guy next to Stalin who wanted to do communism, but his idea was to make it a global thing, not just a national thing, to where the country is is in uh, doing communism. 
but um, he ended up. I think he ended up getting taken out by Stalin. Stalin wanted to do things his way, and so he had we had communist Russia. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I, I guess there's like two guys, two uh, Lenin's top top dudes or whatever. At, before he died, and one of them was Stalin. The other one was this other guy. I can't remember his name. But yeah, that's what his, that's what his idea was to make communism a Max global thing. Marxism. Okay. Might, yeah, it's, it's okay. Karl Marx, something Karl, like that. Karl Marx. Yeah. So anyway, he wrote that manifesto like eighteen forty something, something like that. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyway, more than hundred fifty years ago. Okay. So back to when communists took over in around nineteen forty nine, Mao actually through through changing, forcing to become communisms, he killed off directly and indirectly, there are between 40 to 80 millions of Chinese people that are dead because of communism. That was, wow. that was that time. So, but, you know, he's, Mao absolutely killed more people than, than Hitler did, for sure. We all think Hitler is the worst. Mao is the worst. So that was the beginning of the communism. And then it went into Vietnam, it went into Cambodia. Yeah. You know, right now, everything, the communist has a thick front, the capitalistic front. But behind the scenes, China is very communist. But behind the scenes, they have no freedoms. They can kidnap anyone, they can lock anyone up, and for any reasons they want, you know, they are, if we think the Democrats are crazy, the communisms in front of you, they can do all those things and lock you up and silence you directly. They, they are the law. So that's how crazy. So we have to, we have to stop our children. We have to educate our, our young people about what is real socialism and communism. These are the same people's mindset. These are the young people's fathers, grandparents, who lived through those years and continue of, of, of this doc, doc, doctrinations, okay? So they kill off, you know, uh, the communism begins by killing off close to, you know, between 60 to 80 million people, okay? And I saw it. I was born in Hong Kong, so it's, we, we have freedoms of speech. And, but when I was young, I go there, I see it. Everyone dressed the same, you know. And, and I remember I was pointing, you know, at my grandmother's house, a picture of the a Mao. I know who is Mao, and, and because I'm educated in Hong Kong, we have freedom to learn anything. We know that's communism. I was pointing at the picture of the Mao, and then I remember my grandmother and the relative, they were scared. They were just, this is inside their home in a village far away, you know. And they, in, even then, there's no internet, there's no telephone. They were scared. Mm -hmm. They were scared just for me talking about it. You know, they were, they have to only say good thing. But it's inside their home. Wow. But I didn't understand. I was kind of young, you know. But this is the communist. They control, wow. you know, they will stop you from thinking. That's, okay, so mod, come back to more modern time. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Tiananmen Square, 1989, June 4th. The coming June 4th, we will see another history in the making. So mark this day, 2020, June 4th, 31 years after the Tiananmen Square massacre. Okay, something big's gonna happen. Okay, but I'm gonna go back to 31 years ago. Okay, 1989. Yeah, 1989, Tiananmen Square, there's a big massacre. We don't need to talk about that, right? And then 1999, around that time, there's, uh, you know, after that, 10 years ago, after that massacre, a lot of the Chinese people started uh, joining the Fulong Gong, okay? And it's a very peaceful uh, religion. It's meditations, you know, more like a Buddhism type of uh, religions, okay? And when these people getting really uh, popular and tight together, the People Liberation Army, okay, Zhang Ziming, Zhang Ziming, he was the head at that time of the People Liberation Army. 
he was so jealous of that congregations of these this 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 groups of people getting more and more that you remember China don't like crowd they don't like protester they don't like crowd who doesn't listen to them they like they like military armies but you have to follow but if you don't follow they hate you so when these religious people Fulong Gong <coughs> was getting very very popular and very more powerful <coughs> no, but they're, they're not powerful people they're just very calm you know kind people he he started having all these type of propaganda saying these are cult they started locking them up started pers this is Fulong Gong's persecutions just like they persecute the Christians okay in the communist times but this is more modern timing this is within the 20 years they started persecuting Fulong Gong people so a lot of them fled and these people are very healthy uh, and so they they lock them up and they do organ transplant this is the beginning of building up a lot of hospital organ transfer organ harvesting hospital throughout all China okay so okay also a lot of these doctors they they actually like I was talking to you earlier if 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 you need a heart and you have the money you can you can make an appointment and fly to China in three to four days you, you can get one live one find a match find whatever that match yours if the price is right you can imagine that let's say you have a, a rare genetic they can this billions of people everyone get a Chinese heart it does, it's the same inside but they're healthy but it's a live one how do you find one because they kept lots of prisoners and find a match there are a lot I don't know how maybe hundreds of these um, uh, organ heart transferring okay uh, hospitals in China for foreigners there's price on their website to talk about that and these people are a lot of them are the uh, uh, earlier on with all the Fulong Gong people practitioners and and just you know prisoners that they also recently is most people which we are all familiar with is the Uyghur people the Uyghur people is the northwest of the China is Xinjiang this is close to Turkey okay. they ethnically they consider themselves as East Turkish they they oh. their religion is Muslim they don't speak Chinese and wow. but right now it's China I don't know how China conquered that part of the land is become China okay but that part that th those lands has a lot of uh, precious uh, resource in there so the people's not a lot of people but the land is massive okay so but China to control those they're absolutely very different they ethically they do not look like Chinese they speak completely different culture but they force these people they it's called the re I think we all heard of I think I heard about this re yes we yeah. all heard, yeah re education camps concentration camp so they go in and bring all these men and they force them repetitive it's like our fake news you know every news you hear is the same news every day you hear the same talking points okay but ours is not as obvious as the Chinese ways because Chinese people they're more hard-working they will make you repeat like a, a thousand times you know after you repeat the same sentence you know or you hear the same sentence you actually they actually force people you know to repeat you know even right now you guys see some of the videos of the Chinese doctors re repeating, you know, the the government's whatever lyric that they follow. So they repeat this. They're very religiously. They 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 know how to follow orders. They have to. So recently, the Uyghur people is also part of the organ uh, harvesting. Okay. And we, the West, we see all these. We saw the Fulong Gong is big. During, you know, I remember those times, you know, people all talk about it. Oh, we all feel bad about it, okay? 
you know, the Uyghur people, there's tons of YouTube videos talk about these, but it's nothing, to, you know, there's, there's congressmen here, senator here, you know, human rights, you know, but nobody can really do anything. And China got bigger and bigger and bolder and bolder.